one of the easiest way to make an extra thousand bucks a month maybe it's not make right it's by controlling cutting or downgrading unused subscription or expenses and that's the easiest thing for people who are really spending uh, money that they don't have to spend okay um, stuff like you know gyms sometimes we have, we pay for a gym membership you know I recently terminated my gym membership I pay about one one fifty a month and I realized that actually I could do a same workout or better workout at home it's just that going gym was nice but it's not a necessity because I have the same discipline to work out at home so I say what 150 a month right and that's number one another way to save money is by not having the highest broadband or internet speed you don't need like a 300 bucks a month internet speed but typically 100 bucks a month will, will be more than enough you know so then again that's another thing that you can save some of us have subscription to multiple uh, streaming video. Now there's Disney Plus, there's Netflix, there's Amazon Prime, and there's so many. And all this can add up to maybe another 50 bucks a month. So, gym, 150 bucks a month. Internet, you save 200 bucks a month. 350. Let's say you're streaming, 50 bucks a month. That's only 400 bucks a month. Say, another way to save money is to not eat out so often. Assuming a, st a standard price you spend is 50 bucks a person each time you go out. So by not going out just extra one time a week, you save another 200 bucks a month. That's 600 bucks already. And if you do not change your devices such as laptops or phones so frequently, instead of changing that every six months, one year, you change that every one, two years. Just be another, what, 200 bucks a month that you can save? No, 100 bucks every day. That depends how much you spend on that. Right, that's eight hundred bucks. That's an easy eight hundred bucks that you don't even think about. Right, you, you know what I mean. And this, it's just a simple, simple way to just make that extra thousand bucks a month by cutting off expenses that you don't really care about. You know, and it's really important. Um, of course, these are like small, smallish money. And for those who, let's say, bought a a, a big space, be it an apartment or a home, and you find that you have a key one two or more rooms that you're, 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 you're not using rent it out seriously rent it out and make your make your tenants make money for your mortgage payments and even with that right you know one room rental right now in singapore is about a, a grand a room depending on the location two rooms is two grand a month if i add up all all the examples like you i'll be making three grand a month one by saving a thousand grand a month now by making by renting out two rooms for an additional two thousand, that's three thousand a month, and that's how to make a quick thousand bucks extra a month, right? And this is the saving or cutting out expenses point of view of um, making an extra thousand. It's not as sexy or popular as earning more, which I'm going to share in my next video, but this is a start, and it's really really easy to just have additional money, assuming you already spend unnecessary money. You know what I mean? So, if you can, squeeze up money from some expenses that you don't really care about, be it your gym membership that you don't go for, if you're paying for a top-line internet, or you're paying for too many video streaming services, you know, or if you're eating out five, six days a week, cut back a little bit. You, you will save a lot of money that way. Or you have extra rooms or in your apartment or your home, rent them out. Earn some money. And that's how you can make extra one to grand a month. That's all I have for you today. Take care, boys and girls.